Hi folks, myself Raj. Welcome to our channel Code Shack. Thanks to everyone for watching our podcast show. And today is episode number 10. Our discussion topic is inflation and red card. So let's start. Central banks are steadily looking at reliable signs that inflation is simmering down before they can start red cut. But unfortunately, so far, 2024 has not been delivered. As per last week's data released by Bureau of Labor Statistics, price rose by 3.2% over last year, outpacing the forecast uh, that is 3.1%. Uh, then the PC index or PC, PCE price index got a sharp upward revision and also the retail sales sluggish. Central bank's favorite PPI data shows inflation rose by 0.6% in February, more than expectation, that is 0.3%. Also, the greenback got some boost with hot inflation data. The market has trimmed down the odds at red cut uh, by at least 25 basis point as it's at its June meeting uh, to around 62.9%. CME's Fed watch tool showed down from 81.7% a week, a big number. The small cap Russell 2000 is the most under underperforming comparing the broader market. Small caps will spark only when the red cut starts. Until then, small caps will keep struggling. Red cut is the only thing the small caps need to spark. Till then, we have to keep watching. We think central banks fight for inflation is getting tougher and tougher to pull down the stubborn inflation as there are lots of uncertainties like the crude oil price uh, rising higher and the trouble in the Red Sea that can create new supply chain issues. So the central bank has got lots of challenges to pull down to its 2% target. So till now, we got January's inflation report hotter than expected. February's report also hot, prompting fresh questions about whether this is simply a bump in the road or the beginning of a new trend. The central bank's 2% target will take a lot of time to reach. We think it's a coin flip as whether the central bank cuts interest rate in June or if it takes more conservative approach and waits until September. Probably we can see a red cut by the last quarter, but it will all depend on how the inflation and the other things goes with the with the economy the biggest hurdle has been getting in what the bureau of labor statistics referred to as the shelter cost to come down the cost come in this uh, i think this cost come into two categories one is the rent and another is the home ownership called ownership equivalent rent in February, shelter cost once again proved stubbornly high, climbing uh, around 5.7%. Uh, one of the city analysts wrote, so much so that instead of soft landing, hoped by the Fed, in which inflation continues to fall, without a significant increase in unemployment, consumers are now looking at no landing scenario. This is not necessarily a bad thing. It means that above forecast inflation is most likely here to stay for some time. That means what the city analyst is trying to say is inflation will stay for longer time. But it's, it's like a joke uh, because on the other hand, workers, however, are barely keeping their heads above water, with wages uh, having only marginally outpaced inflation. Today's inflation adjusted weekly earnings total around three point, uh, sorry, $371 compared with the three six, $367 in the month just before 
the pandemic they they are just barely living so if the inflation stays longer it's going to be suffering for the people who are living paycheck to paycheck they will be in a uh, deep in deep deep trouble the things that we need to understand for the central bank the fact that is it has raised interest rate without setting off an un unemployment crisis means that those rates are likely to remain high for some time as it sees greater risk from prices accelerating again compared with the threat of rapidly rising in unemployment that means that uh, the fed or the central bank have raised interest rate without any unemployment crisis there is when the feds increase their interest rate there has been nothing uh, uh, on un unemployment unemployment stood at the same place there was no increase in the unemployment so that means that if they start rate cut there are chances that prices will accelerate and which can be without a threat in the unemployment that means if the if the central bank start rate cut prices will accelerate and the unemployment will have no effect so that's a big threat or big a uh, big thing for the central bank uh, in planning or in strategizing about their red cut so as per our thinking we expect almost no red cut this year if the central bank cut rates to make the market and the investors happy it can bring big consequences uh, as per our thoughts uh, we think that it just over as both sides government and the central bank creates a fiscal pressure making the train to run hot i have shared all inflation data in the drop box you find you folks can take a look oh, so so that's everything for today we want all our viewers to have a successful financial life hoping you guys like today's podcast keep watching our podcast and keep sharing with your friends and family we will try to bring in, bring in more financial topic that will help you to save money from your borrowings and also keep you one step ahead from your lenders have a wonderful rest of your week see you again in our next episode thank you